All right, hello, welcome. So I wanted to kind of share with you an application that I've been using with scroll work. Um, I've noticed that there's a lot of people where I kind of look for examples using Procreate as a way of making scrolls. And what I wanted to do was do layout. I really didn't care too much about the finished scroll as far as scroll with the shading and everything else. I want to do that by hand. Uh, the layout is where I had probably the most issues um, fitting scrolls within a space. Okay, So I wanted to share with you this program. It's absolutely free. It's called Inkscape. Um, I use Adobe Illustrator usually professionally, um, but Inkscape from inkscape.org is a fantastic program for beginning scrolls or layout in my humble opinion. So I'm going to show you why. Um, I'm going to show you a few tools that it has available and then you can just kind of kick back, relax and just watch the show. So they have this. This is a spiral tool. So let's say I make a spiral. And I like that spiral. Um, Control D as in dog. Control D as in dog. I can grab the spiral. Here's one of the cool features. So if I click on it, I can rotate it. If I click on it again, I can move it or scale it. Okay, so this became, it becomes an entity all in itself. If I want to flip it, I can flip it. So I don't have to go up to the menu at all. Okay, so I like these two. Um, I want to maybe combine those two together to make a C scroll. I will first path combine them. And then by doing that, I have points. So I can grab this point, hold shift, grab this point, And I want to combine those by hitting join selected nodes. So I could screw around with this and make it perfect or I can just hold shift and hit auto smooth. Okay. It still doesn't do like a really good auto smooth. The really cool thing about this program is you can grab on anywhere. You can grab the actual line or the node. Adobe Illustrator, you can grab the line, but if you look how smooth it is and it, how it affects the entire chain going all the way around, uh, you can try that in Adobe Illustrator, but I guarantee it's not going to work quite well. So this program has a really nice um, manipulation of nodes on it via edges or nodes. If I don't like something, I can delete it. And now you can kind of see how it's got a little bit of a kink in there. Again, you know, just take a few seconds to move these around. You can see that this one right here, when I move this handle, this handle doesn't move. So all in one place has all of these features right here. And you don't have to keep going up into several different windows. It's all right here at your disposal. So I use this button a lot. And what that does is it makes the different type of rocker arm where these now can make the curve really smooth. I can also grab several nodes. So let's say I grab all of these nodes and move it, scale it. And it depends where you're grabbing here. Just be mindful where you're grabbing. But what's really nice is, let's say I want something to touch something else, I can. I can make this touch something else, and then all the other edges come in for the ride. So let me make a couple edges here. So what I'm going to do is grab the pencil tool. Smoothing, I can keep that turned up. And this first one's 
always kind of a pain because it's a really long edge. So this one's too smooth. You're going to be adjusting this maybe once to get used to what kind of smoothing you want. And after that, if you get it down pat, you don't have to touch it ever again. And I want these sort of open so I can actually do a little bit of creativity here. So I don't want them too close. I just want these flow lines here. So in this program, I can work out the flow. See how the, so that first one. Yeah, there we go. Nice and flowy. And then, again, manipulating these until you can back up using control and wheel mouse so you can zoom in and out. So I can kind of look at that, see how it flows, how those lines are flowing. If I like this one, control D. Maybe I want an open scroll, so I can put it on this side. I will just grab some points, hit delete, grab some points, hit delete. Grab all of these, click, rotate. See how all of the elements actually bend with it. If you don't notice anything, notice that. Cool, now I don't need these if I don't need want them, but I can just delete those out. And maybe these I can now reroute. very quick in my humble opinion uh, another thing I use all the time let's say I want to move the, move all these there is a group tool but I would say combine works really well for combining elements together and now I can use this to you know fit it somewhere else Maybe I want to take this now and break it apart. Grab all of these nodes. And move these somewhere else. And then I can just fix the one couple little notes. That one doesn't look good anymore. Yeah. Again, I probably wouldn't use this program for finished work as far as shading is concerned, but this layout works really good. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's really all the tools that you really need. Um, the whole program can be learned in a week. Uh, it does a lot of other things, but I'm just kind of showing you the layout version of it. So I hope you enjoyed.